When a car drives in a straight line, both wheels on the axle turn at the same speed and so the axles itself turns at the same speed. However, when the car turns a corner, the outside wheel travels a greater distance than the inner wheel, in the same time, so it must be rotating faster. If the axles linking the two wheels is fixed to them, then it will bend in exactly the same way as a when a metal ruler is turned in only one end. A car has a mechanical device and driven axles called a differential which allows the wheels to rotate at different speeds when cornering. It uses the principle that force takes the path of least resistance and this is why on occasions, force will take the path of least resistance and spin a wheel on ice or on grass verge. In a four-wheel drive car the front and rear axles are linked by a propeller shaft when four-wheel drive is engaged. When a car turns a circle, the rear wheels take a shorter track than the front. Since the front and rear axles are linked via the prop shaft, the prop shaft is being turned faster at the front than the rear and this will generate the twisting effect which is transmission lined up. The following video from Volkswagen makes the same point. As we know, when a car takes a curve, the wheels on the outside of the curve have to cover more ground than those on the inside. But there's also a difference between front and rear wheels. This means that four-wheel drive cars must compensate for rotational speed differences between front and rear axles to prevent wind-up in the drivetrain. And this is another function of the viscous coupling in the Golf Synchro. Just as when the pressure is released from the metal ruler by releasing the pressure at one end, transmission can be released when the pressure is removed from a car's wheel that has generated wind-up. The bending will be released and the unwinding can be seen by a small rotation of the wheel. Wind-up in normal road conditions will cause mechanical stress and poor handling since the wheels cannot take their natural speed when cornering. However, in conditions requiring the engagement of four-wheel drive, there is low friction and since force take the path of least resistance, the force causes the wheels to slip slightly rather than bend the drivetrain. Hence wind-up cannot be generated on a low friction surface. The following video from Channel 4's Massive Speed making the same point. When the presenter refers to the Achilles heel of the road racing spiker, he is referring to the problem of transmission wind up on the road. For off-road use, cornering the great Achilles heel of the road racing spiker was no problem at all. Off-road, the surface is so slippery anyway, the wheels can spin and scrabble as they go round a bend, even if they are locked together by the four-wheel drive system. So, if they want to go at slightly different speeds when going round a bend, they can. Meaning off-road cornering is perfect. The following is a video of a car driven with four-wheel drive and then the transmission wind-up is released. following is Michael Ward who claimed that the wheel spin on the slippery surface is the release of transmission wind up. It is his deliberate use of the throttle. No car can generate transmission wind up on a slippery surface where the path of least resistance would prevent bending of the drivetrain. Also, the Freelander's permanent viscous coupling system cannot generate transmission wind up. If it were to, it would do so when cornering on a road and make the car unstable. This is confirmed by GKN Driveline who make the Freelander transmission.